Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In today's video, we have an uh, Dell laptop. This is a two-in-one and uh, Dell laptop. It's a tablet and a laptop at the same time. So pretty much what you can do, you can actually flip it over the screen inside the bezel and you can actually use it as a tablet. It's a very nice laptop, really good quality build. They come with an iCore 7. This one is an XPS 12 9Q23. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys based on the request how to open it up and how to replace or remove your battery on this one. So let's get into it and let's open this thing up. Number one, you need to get, grab yourself a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit and tool set and we're gonna be using bit number four and Phillips number zero. I love this tool set because the bits are really hardened and they last long time, not compared to the other some off market ones. So we're gonna use a torque number four and we're gonna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. So go ahead and remove all the screws. They are the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once we remove all the bottom screws, what you wanna do, you wanna grab an opening tool. I use this opening tool, it's a guitar pick, it's a metallic guitar pick, it's really hard and soft edges, so it's hard to scratch your laptop with it and really nice to open it. Open an electronic with these ones. Or you can get any opening tools from, the, from my link in the description. But if you wanna have a really good one, I'll suggest the guitar pick. The metallic one is really good. What you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. And you want to just wiggle around. And you want to hit those clicks, that's fine. Go all around. Make sure you hear the clicks. And mine is not doing so many snapping because I already opened a few times so I do all around pretty much you want to do in this motion just go ahead and remove loosen up and then you want to close the laptop you want to lift it up from the side where you have the power jack connector you want to lift up from the other end but there's a power on switch you can break so you want to lift up from this side lift up one corner up a little bit and then wiggle it around and push it towards the power on button right here and it should come out. So you can go ahead and clean up the bottom cover. It's kind of dusty over here. So you can do your own cleaning. And down here the battery is right, enormous battery right in front of you. The model for this battery is a Y9 yeah, Y9N00. So it's Y9N00. That's the model for this one. I'll try to get the link for this one in the description. To replace it, first thing you want to do, you want to disconnect it. To disconnect it, you need to pull this jack backward. So pull it really hard backward, it will come out. Next, you want to grab your bit Phillips number zero. And we're gonna remove a few screws on the battery. So starting from this corner, this one right here. That one in the corner, so two, three, four, five screws, six, seven, and 80 screws. So there are a total of 80 screws that you have to remove and then what you want to do, grab the battery from this cable side and just lift it up. You can go ahead and do some cleaning if you want to, but this is how you upgrade or remove your battery. Once you get the new battery in, what you want to do, place it in right where you remove the first one, right there, straight down. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna 
screw back in all the screws that we removed from here. There are 80 screws in total. So I'm gonna actually fast forward this part. All right. And the next step would be connect a connector for the battery, right straight in and pinch it right there, make sure it's all the way in. Some people only put it halfway through, it has to go all the way in. And the last thing would be grab the bottom cover. Always slide down this power on button side, make sure it goes through the this gap right there. So put that in there and then put the rest and press down on the corners. Make sure you hear those clicks. If you do, that's what you want to hear. And the last step would be to grab the bottom screws and screw them right on top. And I really hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. If it did help you guys out, you know what to do. And if you guys subscribe, I really appreciate it and it helps me and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up screwing this one right here. And there we go. And we are all set.